A Joe Biden impeachment? For what? Uh, we're gonna have to get back to you on that one. It's definitely a real thing. This is not my party. Brought to you by The Bulwark. Back in the before times, when I was still a Republican, there was a famous gaffe by Nancy Pelosi that was taken a bit out of context, but that the guys at Fox still played every hour on the hour for years. We have to pass the bill so that you can find out what is in it. I don't think that's how it works. Well now, Kevin McCarthy has taken that we'll have to pass the bill to find what's in it deal to the next level. We have to start impeaching Joe Biden to find out what for. Genius, genius! Now, they do have some idea of where they might look for the elusive Biden impeachable offense. His son Hunter was taking money from foreign governments. His son Hunter was doing some shady business deals. His son Hunter did crack. His son Hunter had a child out of wedlock. His son Hunter has bad breath. Hey, this guy knows how to party. But you might notice it's not Hunter that is being impeached. Though Hunter was indicted last week by the Biden Justice Department on a gun charge. Finally, Republicans are excited to crack down on gun ownership. How convenient. All they got on Joe Biden is some circumstantial evidence. He took a call from his son Son, naturally, during some of those shady business meetings. There is an email that cryptically refers to throwing some money to the big guy. There are other instances of his drug-addled son bragging about how much access he had to his father when he was trying to get some cash. What does this have to do with anything? Even House Republicans admit that so far, that's a lot of nothing. Here's Nancy Mace, Republican from South Carolina. Isn't it supposed to be the evidence that leads you to pursue impeachment and impeachment inquiry? Well, that's what the inquiry is for, is but there's to already get more evidence. And here's Ken Buck, my home state of Colorado. If there's evidence linking President Biden to a high crime or misdemeanor, that doesn't exist right now. And here's the guy in charge of the investigation, Jim Comer, in three separate interviews with Fox and Friends Steve Ducey, somebody who's generally pretty favorable to Republicans. Have you found evidence that anybody broke any laws? If the president was involved in this, obviously he would have broken many laws. But there's no evidence that Joe Biden did anything illegally. Boom. They went to great lengths to hide Joe's involvement. Yikes. And my personal favorite. What was the crime? Trading policy for money. Which policy? Well, we're going to get into that. We're going to get into that? This is an open and shut case. How about figuring out what the policy was and showing us a little leg before you impeach? This whole thing is just preposterous, especially coming from the party that said nothing when Donald Trump was taking money from foreign governments at his hotels and at his clubs all throughout his presidency. And when his son-in-law got two billion with a B from the Saudis after they left the White House. No, 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 that's uh, just business. These guys don't care about foreign money. The real reason that they're doing this is that Daddy Trump has demanded it. Trump wants to be able to muddy the waters in a general election against Biden and do a little Look over there! maneuver anytime somebody tries to bring up his two impeachments and four criminal indictments. Classic misdirection. And little Kevin is going along with it because if he upsets Trump, he might get removed as speaker in favor of somebody more MAGA friendly. Wouldn't that be more fun? This whole thing is a total sham. Barring some un unforeseen bombshell being revealed, the impeachment has less than zero chance at succeeding. In fact, Kevin was supposed to bring the impeachment inquiry up for a vote in the House, but he didn't do it because he knew it couldn't pass. Whatever, I do what I want. So until House Republicans show one little piece of evidence implicating Joe Biden, this whole thing should be mocked as more conspiratorial BS from House Republicans who don't seem interested at all in addressing any real issues that actually matter to voters. Once again, it's just Trump service all the way down. Anything for you, Daddy. We'll see you next time for more Not My Party. For more episodes of Not My Party, smash that subscribe button. And scan right here to subscribe on Snapchat, where you can get the episodes first and all the Not My Party content you desire.